To say that I am incandescent with rage is an understatement. There were those who were willing to stand and fight for their free speech against those who would attempt to stifle it through threats of violence. And there were also the cowards who were willing to roll over and play dead at the first sign of things going awry. Viacom, the owners of Comedy Central and South Park, was among that number. For no sooner had the first signs of angry and Muslims appeared on the stage than they tucked their tail between their legs and started self-censoring like crazy. However, there were those of us with enough spine not to let our greatest treasures, the, the pillars of Western society, to be surrendered, not without a fight, and especially not to the mere sabre-rattling of some small-time religious losers. There were those willing to play the big game, to strike the stave in the ground with a battle cry, No! Not like that. Not without a fight. I numbered myself amongst these. However, Viacom was not simply satisfied with being leeching cowards, savouring the freedoms that everyone else had fought and paid for. They then proceeded to file a bogus copyright claim against that battle cry, less than 24 hours after the video had been put up, which days later they claimed to have retracted. An action that simply highlights the fact that they knew it was an empty and bullshit copyright claim. And yeah, that copyright notice did essentially kill the video's viral potential. Let me be clear, this was no automated takedown. Viacom chose to do this. Viacom elected to take this course of action. You know, under penalty of perjury. Viacom specifically had someone fill out the forms to do this. I know, I talked to their lawyers. And the evasive tone of their lawyers spoke louder to me than any confession. Viacom actively chose to stab in the back those who were fighting against those trying to limit freedom of speech from threats of violence. You miserable cowards! It sickens me to think of such amoral, yellow-bellied parasites such as yourself growing fat profits of sucking the rich blood off the Western civilization that you would betray for the price of an extra value meal. And for the record, I don't normally put ads on anything that I essentially do for principle. Track record will testify to that. However, in this case, it's being done simply for the strategic reason that if Viacom pulls this shit again, this time losses will have been incurred by their action. Oh yeah, game on. It's your choice, Viacom. So far on the copyright notifications, I, the little guy, am two and zero against the international multi-billion dollar media conglomerate. You fancy going for a hat trick? For you fancy going to a court and telling them how you lost three copyright notices filed under penalty of perjury by you, a major zealously copyright happy corporation against one guy, and uh, this was just an accident and not some systematic abuse? You think that fair use exception is a one-way street? I mean, I don't know whether it's occurred to you, but without that fair use, The Daily Show and The Colbert Report, the flagships of Comedy Central wouldn't exist. And yeah, if you'd have watched the original video, you might have realised something rather important. I was willing to put my life on the table as collateral, just to give some depth to the voices defending free speech. Against this, what do you think you could possibly have to intimidate me with? Finally, let me say a big and a sincere thank you to all those who supported the original video by mirroring it. And it's a fantastic example of why we the little people have to take such cohesive action. Simply as all these copies essentially defang these big corporations by removing their ability to quash such things with a single blow. It's the motto of the little people. We stand together or we get stomped separately.